What's up GI Dojo fans? I got a quick video for you today. Today we're going to be looking at the Desert Rat action figure, which is from a toy line called Action Force, not to be confused with the vintage Action Force by Palatoy. Uh, this is made by a company called Valiverse. Uh, this figure is based on a real life Iraqi war veteran named Tony Roberts, who was a member of the British SAS. Uh, this is a six inch scale figure similar to Marvel Legends or GI Joe Classified. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the back of the package here. Check out Tony's file card there if you want to pause it. Uh, we have um, our cross cell right here with Rollout, who is kind of like a better version of Roadblock than what Hasbro makes. Trigger, kind of reminiscent of Outback. Sergeant Slaughter and Tim Kennedy is Duster, who is also a real life uh, former Navy SEAL. Got our scarabs, and which are kind of like your army builder enemies, and somebody named Garrison Cavalry, which I'm assuming is an enemy. The uh, color scheme is an homage to some of the vintage Palatoy Action Force packaging. I'll take a quick look at the figure. Uh, I have his backpack in his hand here because I'm not really happy. My only gripe uh, is he has this radio right here that kind of blocks you from evenly placing the backpack on his back. That's the only complaint I have. Uh, otherwise, this figure is awesome. Get the real life tattoo sleeve of the real life person named Tony Roberts that this figure is based on. That's his customized, um, I believe it's an M4 rifle. And the magazines are removable. You can swap them with the magazines on his vest. His sidearm also has a removable magazine and uh, lots of equipment on his belt. Overall, great figure, nothing to complain about, no uh, quality control issues. Uh, one more thing to show you guys, if you've never seen a Valiverse Action Force figure, these backpacks are really cool because you can actually open them and put equipment inside. But I'm posing mine with them holding the backpack just because it doesn't quite fit right because of that radio. Uh, anyway, just a quick video from GI Dojo. Uh, please go check out the YouTube channel Analog Toys. That is the uh, channel owned by this real life person, Tony Roberts. It's the premier place to watch um, videos about vintage 12 inch GI Joe figures and vintage 12 inch Action Man uh, figures, which were made by a company called Palatoy, and that was the UK version of GI Joe, just in case you didn't know. Uh, anyway, we'll wrap it up. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you again soon.